Hey everyone, it's Linda. Today I'm going to share how I get this soft, loose wave, and I'm also going to share how I've trimmed my hair. So I just shampooed and dried my hair. Um, I shampooed using the Aussie Miracle Volume and conditioned using the Aussie, I think it's called, yeah, Miracle Moist. And I added a little of the macadamia oil to the ends of my hair. And I'm gonna do like a, just a slight trim. Um, this is about the time of the year that I usually get the itch to chop my hair off. I think maybe I'm gonna try to resist that urge this year and let it grow for a while. But I'm due for a little trim, but I'm not gonna take much off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna part my hair down the back and I always use a wide tooth comb. I never use a brush. I use a comb when it's wet, dry, whatever. The only brush that I will, excuse me while I reach, occasionally use is this little teasing brush when I wanna add a little bit more volume to the back of my hair. But otherwise, this is the only brush that I own. So I'm gonna part down the back and I'm gonna bring my hair around to the front and I'm just gonna take it between my fingers and I'm just gonna take off just any little uneven pieces, maybe not even a fourth of an inch, just to freshen it up a little bit. Just that simple. Same on this side, bring it around to the front, hold it between my fingers and then trim off any of the little uneven looking pieces, the little straggly looking pieces, just to freshen up the ends. <clears throat> and for the sides, I'm gonna part right behind my ear. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna bring it forward a little bit, like so. And I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna cut it on an angle. Just taking off just a small amount, just to freshen up the cut. The same over here, part just behind the ears. Bring it forward. And cut it on an angle, by the way, it's a harder side. And if you want these sections, what you can do is you can just cut up into them a little bit just to break up the hard edge. these long bangs or fringe and I just want to fresh them up a little bit too but I don't really want them any shorter and again I'm going to do the exact same thing that I've been doing where I'm just going to, well you know what I think I'm going to I'm going to change my mind here I'm going to do these on an angle as well but I'm not angling these bangs I'm not connecting the bangs into these sides I want them to be separate from this I don't want to be one long angle. I want the bangs to be separate from this side. <clears throat> so again, I'm just going to cut down, just freshening up a little bit. I'm not taking much length off at all. Just freshening up the cut. Again over here, just a little bit. Now what I normally do is I take a very, very small section out of the center. Just in case I want a little extra bang, I can pull this out. And it's also easily blended back into my hair. And this, this is even more than I want. I don't even want that much. Let's do this again. Just a little bit, that's all I want. Just tuck this back. Yeah, that looks 
more like it. And when I cut this, I flip it a couple of times like this. It's almost a twist. Then I take off the desired amount. I'm gonna go with about a half of an inch. And then I point cut that so that it's not blunt. And this I will not blend into the bangs that I already cut. I'm just gonna leave them separate. So that's my trim. Now what I'm gonna do, <clears throat> comb through, I'm gonna comb my hair back. And I'm just gonna let it fall as it wants. I'm mainly wearing my hair in the middle these days. I have hairs, sorry. But once I get it back where I want, I'm gonna take a little bit of hairspray. And I'm gonna sort of secure the hair that way. Pardon me, I wanna get this hair off my lip. And now I'm gonna comb the sides a little bit. And I just start, I'm gonna go for a really loose, really casual, summery style. And normally I would start curling my hair up high, but I'm gonna start right about here. Let me get my curling iron. This is just um, a con air, nothing special. I think it's about an inch and a half wand. That hair won't go away. <laughs> and let me clear some things out of the way here. I'm just gonna, I don't, I'm not gonna section my hair off. I'm just gonna start grabbing some sections. I'm gonna start about halfway back. And I'm taking the curling iron and I'm putting it almost not quite halfway down the shaft, but just about. And I'm gonna to start to curl, leaving the end out. I'm not gonna hold it very long at all. I don't want much curl, I just want some bend. You know what, it helps to turn the curling iron on. So you guys, I'm gonna turn this curling iron on and I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I think the curling iron is hot now. And um, I just wanted to mention the makeup I'm wearing today is the exact same makeup that I wore in my last video where I just used the Pixie Blush as my eyeshadow and just to warm my entire face up. All the same products on my face today that I had in that last video. So let's try this again. We're going to pick up a piece, go back here, and starting about halfway down, we're going to curl. And just hold for a few seconds, just enough to get a bend going. And I'm gonna let it go. Same up here. As you can see, I take a fairly big section. It's pretty much just like doing a beachy wave that I showed in past videos but I'm not starting up as high and I'm not holding it quite as long. It has been so rainy and damp here in Ohio. I don't think that my spring allergies are ever gonna go away because I don't think spring's ever gonna go away here. We can't seem to get into summer. I had put away all my long sleeve tops. I had to go and get some of those back out. It's rained almost every day. Today it's actually halfway decent. Um, it's in the 60s, woohoo. Now normally, when you would do a beachy wave, 
Let me curl this just a tiny, tiny bit. You would really not want to um, comb your hair afterwards. You just kind of want to separate with your fingers. But for this particular look, I am actually going to comb my hair when I'm done. I'm going to give a little bit of curl to this, even it's the underneath, but it's toward the front. So I'm going a little bit of shape here. And you know, you can add as much shape wherever you want, but the, I think the key to the softer look is going to be the fact that you um, actually comb it afterwards. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to comb my hair pulling down on the curls. This one I'm gonna curl a little bit again. I don't like the bend that I have right here. So pull it down, comb it. And uh, that's it guys, it's just that simple. This piece, again, let me curl a little bit more. a little bit more and there you have it so as always thank you so much for watching and until next time